Hi, I'm Susie and welcome to Math Define. Today we're going to be looking at prime factorization using the ladder method. So let's get started. Let's start by looking at that word prime factorization. Let's look at the definition. The definition says that prime factorization is writing a composite number as the product of its prime factors. Well, let's review what a composite number is. A composite number has more than two factors. And so here are some examples and we're going to focus on the number 18. So you probably remember from when you were learning about prime numbers, you also heard that word composite numbers. If you don't remember what a prime number is, you can go back and watch my previous video on what is a prime number. But a composite number is different than a prime number because a composite number has more than just two factors, one times itself. And we're going to look at the number 18 to show that. So I can get 18 by doing 1 times 18, but I can also get 18 by doing 2 times 9 and 3 times 6. So as you can see, the number 18 has more than just two factors. So 18 would be a composite uh, number. So if I go back and I look at my definition, and it's saying that prime factorization is writing a composite number, which now we know is a number that has more than two factors, and we're going to write that number as the product of its prime factors. So we get products by multiplying. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to be multiplying the prime factors of a composite number and that will give us the prime factorization. So let's look at some examples. So if I take the composite number 6 and I write it as the using the prime factors 2 times 3, that's going to give me the product of 6. And so 2 times 3 would be the prime factorization of 6 because 2 is a prime factor and so is 3. Now let's take a look at the number 12. Now this one looks a little bit different. We don't have just two factors, we actually have three. So the number 12 has three prime factors. And if I multiply those prime factors together, I'm going to get 12. So let's do that starting from left to right. So if I take 2 times 2, that gives me 4, and 4 times 3 gives me 12. So the three prime factors of 12 would be 2 times 2 times 3. Let's look at one more, the number 30. 30 has three prime factors, and that would be 2 times 3 times 5. And if I multiply those from left to right, I will get 30. So 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30. So here are three examples of three different composite numbers written in prime factorization form. Now let's take a look at some non-examples. And what I'm going to use for my non-examples are the same um, problems that I used in the examples, but I'm not going to write them in prime factorization form so that you can see the difference between the two. So I'm going to take my 6 and I'm going to write it as 1 times 6. This is not written in prime factorization form because remember that both of my factors have to be prime numbers and 1 is not a prime number and neither is 6 because remember a prime number is a whole number greater than 1 with only two factors, 1 and itself. So if I write 6 as 1 times 6, that is not prime factorization. Let's look at another one. Look at 12. Well, I can write 12 as 3 times 4. True, 3 times 4 is 12, but that is not prime factorization. 3 is a prime factor, but 4 is not. Now let's look at 30. Again, I can write 30 as 5 times 6, but that's not the prime factorization of 30. 5 is a prime factor, but 6 is not. So now we're going to practice finding the prime factors of a number, and we're going to use something called the ladder method. And it's called the ladder method because it works kind of like a ladder. You start with the composite number at the top of the ladder, and you work your way down to the bottom of the ladder where you're done. And the, one of the important things that we need to remember are those prime numbers. So I go ahead and list these prime numbers. I stopped at 13, but obviously you know that there's more after the number 13. So let's practice doing this. So at the top of the ladder is going to be my composite number of 12. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the letter L. L stands for ladder, so you can think of it that way. Now on the outside, or to the left of the L, I'm going to put my prime factors of my composite number that I'm looking at. 
So I start with my smallest prime number, which is 2, and I ask myself, does 2 go into 12? And it does. So 2 goes on the outside. Then I think, well, what times 2 gives me 12? Well, that would be 6. Now I continue down the ladder. So I need to draw another L. And I look at that 6, and I think, well, does 2 go into 6? Yes, it does. What times 2 gives me 6? That would be 2 times 3. I need to keep going down my ladder. Now I look at that 3. Now 2 does not go into 3, but the next smallest prime number of 3 goes into 3. So what times 3 will give me 3? Well, that would be 3 times 1. When I get to the 1 at the bottom of the ladder, then I'm done. And all of my prime factors are sitting on the outside or to the left. So the prime factors of 12 would be 2 times 2 times 3. And we can double check that by multiplying from left to right. Again, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. And that is the ladder method. So let's try again. Let's try the number 18. So again, I start with my L. I remember to look at my prime numbers. And I say, OK, 2. Does 2 go into 18? Yes, it's an even number. And I think, well, 2 times 9 gives me 18. I need to keep going down the ladder. Then I look at it, and I know that 2 does not go into 9, but I know that 3 does. And 3 times 3 gives me 9. I need to keep going down my ladder. Now, does 3 go into 3? Yes, it does. 3 times 1 is 3. Once I've reached 1, I'm done, and all of my prime factors are to the left or outside the ladder. So the prime factors of 18 would be 2 times 3 times 3. And I can double check that by multiplying 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 3 is 18. One more. Let's do 45. So again, start with the L. Now this time, my smallest prime number of 2 is not going to go into 45 since it's an odd number. So let's look at the number 3. Think of the divisibility rule for 3. If I add the digits together, 4 plus 5, I get 9. And 3 goes into 9, so 3 does go into 45. And 3 times 15 will give me 45. So I need to continue down my ladder. Then I think, does 3 go into 15? Yes, it does. 3 times 5 is 15. I need to continue down my ladder. Now, 3 does not go into 5, but 5 does. So 5 times 1 is 5. I've reached 1 at the bottom of my ladder, and now I'm done. So my prime factors for 45 are sitting to the left. So 45 would be 3 times 3 times 5. And I can check that. 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 5 is 45. And that is the ladder method. So let's go ahead and try some on your own. Let's go ahead and use the number 60 at the top of our ladder. Don't forget you need to make that L. And don't forget you need to start with the smallest prime number of 2. So you think, OK, does 2 go into 60? Yes, it does. It goes in 30 times. So I need to continue down my ladder. So pause your video and finish this problem. OK. So now let's continue. Does 2 go into 30? Yes, it does, 15 times. Continue down the ladder. Does 2 go into 15? No, it doesn't, but 3 does, 5 times. So 3 times 5 is 15. I need to continue down the ladder. Does 3 go into 5? No, but 5 does, so 5 times 1 is 5. All of my prime factors are to the left, so the prime factorization of 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And I can double check that by doing 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, and 12 times 5 is 60. All right, let's try another one, 88. Don't forget to put your L, and I know that 2 goes into 88 44 times. Go ahead and pause your video. All right, let's see how you did. So we're going to continue. I know that 2 goes into 44, so that would be 2 times 22. I know that 2 goes into 22, that would be 2 times 11. And I know that 11 will go into 11. 11 times 1 is 11. I've reached 1, and now I'm done. So my prime factors are all to the left. So the prime factorization of 88 would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 11. And I can double check. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And 8 times 11 is 88. Great job. Let's wrap this up with a vocabulary review. So again, prime factorization is writing a composite number 
as the product of its prime factors. A prime number is a whole number greater than one with only two factors, one in itself. A composite number has more than two factors. So if you found this video to be helpful, please don't forget to click that like button at the bottom of the page. And even more importantly, subscribe to my videos, click that notification bell so that you'll know that when the next videos come out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.